Hello all, this is a Camtasia on how to use MM Solver Copy Tracks tool. I am using latest MM Solver version 0.3.6. Let's get started. To export 2D points from 3D Equalizer to Maya, you need to select points, right click. Either you can use export 2D Tracks tool or copy tracks tool. If you use export 2D Tracks tool, you need to save the file manually and you need to type in your start frame. For this demo, I will be showing you how to use copy tracks tool. To use copy tracks tool, first thing you need to do is make sure that your first frame should match with the start frame. Let's say if your start frame is 1001, then your first frame should be the same 1001. This short start with 0. So I am making sure that my first frame is matching with the start frame. Select points again right click copy to the tracks to load those points in Maya you need to use load markers tool as you can see it instantly pops up with the temporary dot v file you see some point data here mode you can either create new markers or replace with some existing markers you choose your camera marker group distortion mode should be undistorted here because I tracked my points on the main plate which has undistortion. Let's load them. The points are not matching with the plate because of the overscan. I rendered this plate myself with an increased overscan so I know that value. I can select marker group, type in those or scan values there. Now these markers will match. To do this process every time you need to calculate the your or scan differences then you need to type in here which is simply not gonna work. That is the reason I was recommending exporting 2.5D locators method from 3D to Maya then you can convert them here uh, from locators to markers. To fix this issue, we simply need a new tool that should calculate this overscan automatically to scale the markers so that they can fit as they were in 3DE. Guess what? We have that tool now. Let me load these markers again. Choose my camera. Marker group, I will create new one. Undistorted. We have a new tool here use embedded overscan by default it shows 100 percent by 100 percent which 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 means that it doesn't calculate the overscan as soon as you check this on it gives you the new new overscan here one thing you need to make sure that you are using the camera from that comes from 3d equalizer so they both should have the same transformation and same focal length animation as well if, if it has zoom now let's load them. They are matching exactly as they were in 3D equalizer. Cool. Let me delete them. Okay, this method works for static distortion and animation animated distortion as well. But if you solve rolling shutter for your camera, this method or 2.5D locators method, they both will not work. Then in that case, you need to load your undistorted plate, the, the plate you, that you are using in Maya, then load it into 3D equalizer, then type in these new overscan values and focal length, then you might need to export the camera from here to there, if you want to solve object track there. David wrote a cool new tool that does these things automatically. You need to select the camera, input output tools, copy camera to clipboard. I will come to 3D equalizer, take a new project, select the camera, right click, paste camera MM solver, which is gonna give you a lot of options whether you wanna load the plate or not. You start your, your frame range, camera name, filling back and everything. 
and the camera animation as well along with the focal length in this case focal is static that's why it's showing static if it is animating probably it should show dynamic or zoom something like that so let's load it so Maya plate has been loaded and all these values are punched in automatically and we have the ca camera animation as well from Maya. 